Hello to everyone and welcome to another marine engineering video. Today we will see together how we make a change over of diesel generator engines from heavy fuel oil to MGO and we will see some details which is necessary to monitor and check. Okay, welcome to Adventure Story Engine Room. Here it's our main engine on the back view. And we start the procedure, okay? Our generator is stopped. I take a adjustable and as chief engineer told me to adjust the pressure of MGO. Okay, for the moment now I'm closing the generator is stop and I close inlet and outlet heavy fuel oil valves, okay? After that, we will wait for some time until the temperature goes around 80-70 degrees, which is enough to make a changeover from heavy fuel oil to MGO, so our components will not be stressed by high temperature changes okay here as you can see this is the pressure which drops and goes to zero if our pressure gauge is working correct next step is to check again if your system is properly adjusted okay or your pumps here, all the valves it's open and before any changeover it's better also to check the suction filters okay and as you can see here also we have MGO cooler this is MGO cooler which all this cooler is cooled by seawater as you can see you can bypass also here okay this is the bypass valve and if the temperature is already cold, if you are in colder area, you didn't need this cooler as we used before. Here we have viscosity indication. There was the only place that we have indication of a viscosity. And be sure that all return valves, all suction valves are from the tank and until the end it's all open and properly set it up also very important is to check if your pressure gauges are working this is also very very important as you can see here i have to check all valves from tanks until generators again to be sure Okay, and we can procedure next. Okay, as you can see here, we have already fuel oil pressure. What I did there, ah, this is the other one. Okay, this is number two diesel generator. I check one generator we left on heavy fuel oil in case we need to start. Okay, there is separate system, we have two separate systems. But that generator was not working, was only in standby. And here I regulate now the pressure. Okay. First of all, I release the lock nut. And then after releasing a while, a little bit, okay. I adjust to seven bars a little bit more. Okay, and after that, I can check again the gauge to see in what position will be. Then tight again the locking nut. Don't forget, not over tight, a slight, just to not release back. Put the cover back. There is also regulators for heavy fuel oil. Okay. Yep. 
here in number three diesel generator the temperature drops already as you can see it's in 40 we already change over it let's check the pressure also the pressure is 7.2 something like that it's okay Let's see, the temperature drops already, slightly, okay, and it's going down. You can observe also from the temperature indicator, the thermometer. Okay, and next step is to wait, okay. Next step is to wait. Now I'm going to engine control room. This is the pumps that we showed before. As you can see, it's working already. We have pressure here. There is different pressure indicates here. Slight more. And also we check the amperage here to see if it's in normal load. We check for any leakages. And now inside, inside the control room, you can see how the temperature drops as I have shut off heavy fuel oil supply to the line and also from there we can see if our valves are isolating this is as you can see we have a alarm low temperature is less than 118 so from here we can see diesel generator pressures and temperatures Okay, now it's 73, something like that. And now we are ready to open MG valves. After about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you can wait. You have as much time you like. We are not hurry. As you can see, our engine room is very, very clean. It's like a hospital. always do the opening and the closing of the valves slowly okay i open the outlet and now the inlet slowly little bit and after that we check the pressure if it increases on the gauge here okay it's already increased it's very very light fuel and it's passing very very quickly because our pump pumps it as we open also the fuel the mg okay on the other generator our overall pressure drops a little bit okay slightly so maybe a readjust will be needed on the fuel pressure regulator as we did it before And now as the pressure is already on the working pressure, we can open it full, both valves, inlet and outlet valves. Okay. This is the one generator it's running okay we are still far from the port just checking and now the pressure it's all the valves it's open as you can see i take out already all the covers from the sides of the fuel pumps to check next for any leakages The preparation also for the valves, for all the valves from the tanks until generators must be very very carefully. Okay, as you can see I have take out all the covers here. And now I open the indicators. So I will make a air blow. 
to be our engine ready for a start and an inspection on MGO fuel for any leakages. Okay, this is the normal procedure that must be done before any port that you make a changeover. Okay, and normally it's better to make before any port when you go to check your generators in what conditions they are to open these uh, covers to see if you have any leakage but in the fuel oil for sure you will not have that's why a good practice is always to change o-rings to not leave the old one because they are burned from the heavy fuel oil temperatures okay as you can observe also our stainless steel is shining here all the silver here on the exhaust of the buckets painted to determine any leakages if is there okay now I am opening with one hand and the other hand holding the camera also check here there is a small bilge if you have any leakages of fuel you will see there also between turbocharger and number one cylinder so we can make air blow we are ready okay always drain here make a small drain of air before but as you can see i press start but nothing's happened because the engine was on the remote we will put on engine control and now the switch also here the light will change on engine you cannot see but it's right on an engine before was on the remote that's why the engine does not start so now we are ready to make air blow I check if our pumps is cold by touching them was sufficient cold okay let's make a star an air blow to make a air blow you need to press the start button for a while for two three seconds after you see your indicator that is clear you stop by stop button and then close again the indicators So the reason we make air blow is to see if our cylinder is free from any water, any fuel. And also the engine through the indicators and through the ports from the valves drag some quantity of fresh air. Okay, So our cylinder is cleaned for any remains of the last combustion materials okay our indicator is closed do not make a lot of pressure on them because you can break the seat of the indicator valve okay as you can see here the temperature is already down it's already on 41 degrees and now everything is cooled down and circulating circulating take place we can start our engine okay as the temperature I left from the air blow I left 10 minutes more so the MGO will be circulated and now our engine reach 900 rpms and we have the indication of running also there was an alarm of starting air pressure low but it was resetted only for the start coming this alarm it's good that we see also if our alarms is working here it's our governor you can see also the settings and here it's our pressure gauges when the engine is running without load you must always observe the pressures 
and the temperatures must be rising almost equally okay if you see one temperature gauge gauge stay lower okay one thermometer it means that you have problem with your injection maybe some pump is stuck or maybe some fuel injection not inject properly now I am checking for any leakages from all the connections from all the ceilings to determine if there is any leakage all the pipes all the connections and also we can move the fuel linkages to see if they are free movement which must be okay as you can see here a free move that show us that our pump is free inside it's not stuck okay it's free move easy to move one by one to check all the leakages check the connections check the safety pins sometimes you can lubricate them with penetrating oil or you can mix penetrating oil with normal oil and lubricate them also very good practice is after some years of working of these indicator racks okay of linkages it's good practice to change them because as i have noticed the numbers of indication is arrays and it's not any more visible okay our engine was tested for five to ten minutes everything was fine we didn't determine any leakages all the checks all the tests pass and take a certification from us so the engine is stopped and we have the indication ready to start again and we put back to remote okay and the lamp also changed the indication it's very very important to check always if the panel receive the information thank you for watching stay tuned to adventure story channel don't forget to check all the previous videos check also the simulator videos and i have a question if you like a live video with adventure story which will be tomorrow i will plan to make it tomorrow or the other day or two days but i will inform you for sure it will be in this summer in these two days okay and it's better for me to plan today it's saturday we plan sunday because also most of the people on the sunday it's free and they have time okay so you can make any question there i hope to have some guys to discuss also some things they can ask a general questions for the marine engineering Thank you for watching stay tuned don't forget to subscribe your thumbs up and more videos more interesting videos coming in the future bye bye